Aloha, this is Dr. Dixon and I have a few tips about mixing colors to balance them and how you can find out the undertone of your colors and how you can warm them up or even cool them down. Now, here's, here are four colors, five colors, bubblegum, dream brow, warm up, blooper, and neutral flesh and you can see here that I have drawn um, that I have placed um, maybe three four drops of each pigment this is all, this is the dream brow row right across here and then I've added its modifier pigment here but let's see what the what happens to dream brow okay so this is pure dream brow Okay, so that's pure dream brow. Pure dream brow. Now, let's mix dream brow with bubble gum. Let's mix it up. We're getting a more chocolatey, softer color. It's warmer too, and lighter, so it's softer. Okay, there's bubblegum plus dream brow. This is all on the we our website as well. We've done these smears for you. Okay, let's add some warm up to dream brow. Now we're going to get a warmer color, but it's not going to be as light as bubblegum. Okay, it's going to be darker. So see, that is what happens with warm up. And you'll mix yours better together. Okay, so you may want to, you may say, well, that's too red. Okay, so you can just add a drop of dream brow or two. You're just wanting to warm it up. You're not wanting to make it red. So you can balance your colors there. See that? That's warm and that'll heal more warm. Here, let's see what the undertone of dream brow is. Here's blooper. If you want to see the undertone of a pigment, just add a light color or white color. And you can see that this is sort of going gray. And that's ashing out a little bit. So the undertone of Dream Brow is cool. And that's why either bubble gum or warm up would be very helpful. If you want to tint your pigment, just use a flesh color. Don't use pure white. This is neutral flesh. But this will probably see how it lightens Dream Brow, yeah. but you still maintain your, your ash or your cool tones. Now the way you handle any color that is red is is with green okay so so let's take our pigments here and let's just take green toner and let's take warm up pretty red pretty warm and well, I'll keep bubblegum over here too. This is a favorite. Okay, so let's see what happens when we we have warm up, warm up, and we add green toner. We have green toner here and green toner here. Okay? So what happens 
when we you can see that's green and that's really warm this has a lot of red and yellow in it now let's just mix them together okay let's mix 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 these together and you're getting your brown okay so here's here's your brown so if you have a brow that has too much red in it pinky red you can just add a little bit of green toner to your brow if you have a brow that has healed with too much green in it just add a little warmth with warm up and then you're balancing your brow so you've gone from too red to a beautiful brown you've gone from too green to a beautiful brow brown this is color theory very basic basic color theory but it's amazing how there are people who are consider who consider themselves um, e um, masters or experts and makeup artists it doesn't matter they have not learned their color theory for the skin this is a very beautiful balanced color that will heal can I share one more thing with you I'm gonna show you how to make a pretty blonde I'm gonna instead of using warm-up I'm gonna use bubble gum okay so take a drop of bubble gum there and just a little bit of green toner here and start mixing this together and you're going to start getting a color that is more suited for blondes you're going to start getting a warm blonde and now you're going to start add a little more green and you're going to start getting an ash blonde so color source pigments are your friends um, unfortunately there are people who haven't learned uh, their color theory yet but basically red neutralizes green green neutralizes red and it, they balance each other to get a beautiful brown and here's bubble gum here's bubble gum and you can even get a blonde see so there there are your tips for using bubble gum green toner and warm-up and um, some of the new browns especially and um, if I could just say something I think we've noticed with microblading that our, I, our hair strokes really ash out they turn really gray and so that's the time to add a drop or two or three of warm up to your brow color so it doesn't heal so ash or so gray if you have old brows coming back eight years seven years old green is a long lasting color they just need to be balanced out go to bubble gum or warm up so i hope you've enjoyed your tips for colors. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.